guys, Steven Fillers here, back in the garage. Today we're looking at Bully Dog's GTX Tuner, and this is an easy to use, premium way to tune your vehicle in no time flat. This features a capacitor touchscreen, so if you can use the smartphone, you can use this device very easily. The graphics look great, the gauges are very crisp, and the text is easy to read throughout, so it really is an intuitive way to tune your vehicle. Now on the back side we have our connection. This is all done magnetically, so the power is transmitted that way as well. So all that to say, this is very easy to snap in and snap out. So when you have the vehicle in park, it's easy to stow away in your glove box or center console, and it's just very easy to do. Now last but not least, when you go to update this device, it's all done wirelessly over Wi-Fi. So to get the latest tunes and updates to software, it's all done with the tap of a button. So it really is very quick and easy to do. Now with all that said, let's move on to the installation and the tune itself and show you just how easy this is to use. All right guys, so wiring this is super straightforward. What you will notice though, in our application, we've done stuff a little bit non-traditional. We've already got some accessories attached to the OBD2 port, so we use a splitter, and we're actually gonna be wiring this through this little side panel here. As you can see, we've taken that out, but it really is, once you get the OBD2 port accessible, it's super simple. You simply plug and play. Then you connect this to the base up at the top, which we've already pre-threaded, and then you'll just find areas within this space here to stuff all this into. Now there is a little bit of heat that comes off of these boxes, so try to give them as much space as possible. Now moving straight into the demonstration, uh, you'll see that we have the Bully Dog GTX here mounted to our windshield, and you have some options there as far as mounting go. But let's just dive right in. So the first thing you can do, uh, you'll see that we already are connected to Wi-Fi. You will have to connect this to some sort of network to uh, get any new updates or downloads to the software. Um, as needed, so make sure that you have some sort of connection to do that. But we've already done that, so I'm just going to jump straight into our tune. And doing so, it's going to tell me to go ahead and turn the key on. Do not start the engine. Be aware of that. Just turn the key over. And once you've done that, continue. Now here's where it's going to check for updates. Again, this is why it's important to connect to some sort of network. Um, we've already done this. I'm going to hit skip. And this is not legal for sale or use in California, so be aware of that. There is a separate part number for you guys, so just be aware of that before you make your buying decision. And this is already good to go. We've already got our preloaded tune here. We have the 3.5 liter EcoBoost F-150. Now, we can either take the tune as it is from Bully Dog, which is already a pretty good tune, or we can go ahead and customize this. So rather than skipping, I'm going to jump into customize and show you what options we have. Um, so we have our fuel octane because this is a turboed application. Whoops, because this is a turbo application, we're going to jump to the premium gasoline, the 93 octane here. And you can actually set a speed limit. I um, mean, this is good if you have kids and they're taking your vehicle out, um, you know, to prom or whatever. You don't want them speeding. You can actually give them, give them a limit here uh, from this interface. So if you want them only going 70 miles an hour, no faster, you can set that. Or it's even good for those valet drivers that like to tear out of the uh, parking lot with your car. Uh, but in our case, we'll keep that off. That's fine with us. You can set your rev limits as well and uh, your idle speed, your RPMs for that. Um, so you have that full control. Uh, we're happy with that though, everything looks good here. So I'm gonna hit continue. All we really changed there was the uh, fuel octane. And then it's gonna say, please confirm to start tuning your vehicle. It's gonna give us another summary of what we've done to make sure that we're all good to go there. Um, and it is, so I'll hit confirm and it's gonna start loading those files. Again, my key is turned over, my engine is not on. So again, uh, just be aware of that and make sure that your engine is not on either as you're loading this tune. All right, so once the tune is loaded, you'll be brought to a new screen. It's gonna tell us to turn the key off. So we'll just turn the key off. And then once you've done that, make sure that you're off and hit okay. All right, that's it. We've already tuned our vehicle. So it was that quick and easy. The length of this process though, was the actual tune loading onto the vehicle. Otherwise it's a really straightforward process. All right, so now that the tune is loaded, let's move on to the other features of this tuner. We can move straight into our gauges, and that's going to tell us to turn the key on. Do not start the engine, again. Will it continue once that's done? Now, the gauges are cool because if you like to have something in your dash always, uh, like some sort of diagnostics, you can actually see those straight from the tuner here, and you can even customize what you're seeing. In our case here, we have our boost, which is important, our module voltage, so we should be pretty close to 12, which we are, uh, coolant temperature and intake air temperature. And if we scroll through, you'll see that we have customized pages here for all that we want to be monitoring. So you have some really good options there. Now, if you don't like anything in particular, you can just click in there. 
You can adjust your layout. You can even start recording and export some data sets um, so you can ex see exactly what's going on and monitor those things very well. Now, if I go into my layout here, you can see I have a ton of different gauge layouts here from a solid one uh, panel layout all the way to something like this, which is totally full of information. So you have some options there. If I go into this one, well, now we have a full screen of just what I want to be seeing, which is a really neat feature. Now that's gauges. Let's jump back into our home menu. And there's a lot of options there that you can play with, of course. Um, but let's jump into now our functions. Turn the key on. We already are. <clears throat> if your key was off, it would just say, please turn the key on. This isn't working. It would give you an error message. So that's all it's going to do there. Um, and in our functions, we have our cam reset and our crank relearn. And this is going to be application specific, so you may see something a little bit different here. Now, as far as diagnostics, this allows you to read and clear any trouble codes that you have in your dash. So if you hate that engine light that's always on, you can see what's going on there, but also clear those out to clear up that dash. And then you have your information about the device and the vehicle. So I can tell you on the fly what my VIN number is. So I don't have to look in the door jam or in the windshield area to find out what my, what my VIN number is. I now have that very accessible here, which is a really handy feature. You can also see the device information to make sure you, you're using the latest software and firmware updates. And if you're not, you can always update those again over Wi-Fi. And then last but not least is our updates panel. And that's where we can check and see that our device is fully up to date. And you can see it's checking for that Wi-Fi. And it is, we're connected, so it's going to push any new updates to the device. Now our device is up to date. And uh, the final thing I'll show you though is our settings menu, just in case you wanted to see that. So from here, you can see your general settings. So all these things you can see, start gauges after power on. That's a good feature if you've already tuned your vehicle and you don't think you're going to have to do that again. Um, that way, as soon as you start your vehicle, the, uh, the device will power on with gauges visible. So you don't have to go into the gauges menu to, to access those. Um, you can reset the, the settings, factory reset, uh, send action log, um, some other features there. Audio, so if you don't like the clicking noise, like when I'm clicking buttons, you can hear it kind of clicking. If you don't like that, you can turn it all the way off, um, which is a good feature. Our display to adjust your brightness. You have a light sensor in day mode and night mode. That's pretty cool. If you don't like the, the bright screens, you can always go to night mode and have a dark interface, which may be good if you have uh, sensitive eyes or anything like that. Or if it's night outside, of course, you want something that's a little bit more uh, dim as opposed to bright. Um, our Wi-Fi, of course, so we can connect to any local Wi-Fi networks we have here. We can manage our files, uh, check the feedback, and legal and regulatory. Otherwise, though, that is the tuner in a nutshell. Um, again, this is all going to depend and vary depending on your application, but it really is packed full of features so you can make the most use of your vehicle. All right, guys, so that's a wrap on the Bully Dog GTX. As far as the timeline and difficulty go, I'll give this about 30 minutes to do and about two of 10 on the difficulty scale. That's all going to depend on your application. In our case, we had just had to pull one panel off and run the cable down to the OBD2 port to make it a little bit more sleek in there. But otherwise, it really was pretty straightforward. And on the timeline, the majority of the time actually was the tune loading to the vehicle. And again, that's going to depend on your application. It could be shorter, it could be a little bit longer, so just be aware of that. And the final thing to be aware of is that you will need a Wi-Fi network in order to update the device to the latest updates, so you make sure that you give your vehicle the latest tunes as well. Now, if you want any more details on the Bully Dog GTX, check the description below the video. We'll have everything for you there from a part number all the way to a dealer locator, so you can find the GTX at a dealer near you. Now, if you like the video, leave us a like. If you love the video, feel free to subscribe and check the bell icon for notifications anytime we release a new video. Thanks again for tuning in. This has been Total Truck Centers in the Garage.